Hello everybody, I'm Steve Grizzetti, co-founder of MoviePicks.com and author of the MoviePicks.com guides to CyberLink PowerDirector Ultimate, and here we are in PowerDirector Ultimate. Quite often, as you're working on a video, there are things you want to obscure from your viewer. In other words, it may be nudity or something offensive, or maybe it's just a privacy issue or a logo that you want to blur without blurring your whole video, just spot blur a certain area in your video. We call it blurring a face, as on the TV show Cops, the way they used to blur people that they did not get a release form from. And here we've got a man giving a tour, and one of the people in our video, let's say this guy in his yellow shirt, does not want to be in our video. So we have to obscure his face. Now there are actually a couple of ways to do this. I'll show you the manual way, and I'll show you the automatic way, because sometimes the automatic way is easier and better. But the manual way to do it is to go over to the effects room by clicking on the button here in the upper left hand corner and selecting an effect to obscure. And a good one is mosaic. There's mosaic. I'm going to drag it down not onto the clip itself, but onto the effects track. There it is. We don't need to have it much longer than the video clip itself, so I'm just going to trim this off here. Now you see how that obscures the entire video, but if I select the effect on the timeline. Go over here to modify. I can control the levels of obscurity. I like to make it about 10 by 10. And then I can create a mask. So in other words, I'm not going to blur the entire video. I just want to blur one little spot in here and I'm going to select a circle. Once I've done that, I can go over to keyframing by clicking on this keyframe button in the lower right hand corner of the effect settings panel. I'm going to move the playhead back to the very beginning of the clip. And if I click on mask, it opens up a window here where I can set up the specific area where this mosaic lands. So I'm going to grab the corner and just drag on that corner handle and I can resize that any way I want. And I'll drag that down and put it right on top of this guy's face. Click OK. And you notice in my keyframe settings panel, I get a little diamond, a little blue diamond next to mask. That is representing the initial location for that mask. I can go to the end by dragging the playhead to the very end or scrubbing it. We'll click on mask again. And then I'll reposition that blur so that it's over his face. Click OK. And then it's simply a matter of going kind of, I usually go frame by frame through the entire video. And you can do that by clicking on the comma and the plus button on your keyboard and go frame by frame and anytime it moves off of this guy's face we click on that mask button again and reposition it each time we do it's creating a new motion keyframe to follow the man's face i'm actually dragging on the playhead here rather than going frame by frame but it depends on how precise you want to be each time it moves off his face we open up the mask again and reposition it and when we're done, we're going to create a mask here that, as you can see, obscures the man's face the entire way through the clip. That's the manual way to do it. I'm going to delete the mosaic effect from the timeline here, and I want to show you the automatic way to do it. Select the clip on your timeline, go here to Tools, and from the Tools menu, select Motion Tracker. Motion Tracker is a very effective way to follow an object or person in your video clip. I'm just going to move the Motion Tracker definition to this man's face. Make it large enough that you're sure you're going to cover his entire face. I'm at the beginning again of the clip, so it will follow him the whole way through. Once I've selected the object I want to track, I just click on the Track button here, and it will follow his face through the whole clip. That's good. And then I can add a title, I can add a video clip, or a picture in picture, but I'm going to select the option to add an effect to this man's face, or to the object we're tracking. And it's a mosaic again, I'm going to select circle. And I can resize it by grabbing onto the mosaic itself, inside that tracking box. We'll make it large enough to cover the man's face. And then that should do it. So. It's locked onto the tracking box, which is going to follow the man's face around the video. And when I press play, there it goes. The obscurity stays over his face the whole way through the video. If I click OK, we go back to the clip here, and you can see works perfectly. So 
There's an automatic and there's a manual way to do it. If one doesn't work, you can use the other. If you want to know more about this wonderful program and tips and tricks for making the most of your video editing experience, check out moviepicks.com and all of our tips and tutorials. If you want to know everything about this program, including great little tricks like that, be sure to check out the moviepicks.com guide to CyberLink PowerDirector Ultimate. It's available on amazon.com. I'm Steve Grisetti. Thanks for joining me. See you soon.